folks, this is Fletch Lampkin, president of Westminster College, and welcome to yet another episode of Catch Flesh. Today we're in the historic gymnasium, and I'm talking with a couple of guys that uh, I'm very, very proud of. One is our wrestling coach, Tony, and another is one of our uh, top wrestlers, uh, Sean. And I'm going to uh, ask Tony to talk a little bit about a relatively new program here, our wrestling program, and tell me what's happening, Tony. Uh, you know, like you said, it's a new program. Uh, this is our second year, and we had uh, we just went to finish regionals, which is probably the toughest region in the country for the D3 programs. Uh, there's a lot of the top five programs that are in there. There's 17 teams, and we placed eighth out of 17. With uh, eight out of the 10 wrestlers, we had eight freshmen, one sophomore, and one junior. Wow. So uh, Sean was was our, our top placer at third. Uh, he kind of uh, had a bad match earlier in the in the in the tournament, and no, no and, and I know obviously no Sean, but um, you know he had no he knew that if he loses one more match, he's, he's done, done here. Yeah. So and he fought back all the way. I think it was like four or five matches in a row to come back and get third, and and, uh, uh, and it was just, it was awesome. And we had a couple other kids that 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 placed. We had four kids total place. Um, uh, Sean placed third. Dalton Landreth placed fourth. Uh, Jacob Warren placed sixth, and Cody Bellary placed. Oh no, Cody Beller placed sixth and Jacob Warren placed eighth. And Cody was the 17 seed placing sixth. So he got like the, the highest um, differential from being, you know, a 17 seed to, to sixth. Wow. And uh, uh, Dalton had five pins with the lowest time. So he won the, the, the best award for pins with least, least amount of time. You know, and, and just doing all this and have the coaches kind of watch us and talking to us, and they're just like, where, where were you guys at the last yeah. region two years ago? We started the, last year. And they're just like, what? You know, and, and just like I said, you know, like there's so many teams there that don't even have anybody make it to nationals. And as a second-year program with a freshman, we have Sean that, that did. So uh, we couldn't be happier, and everything that he's doing is just, is just amazing. Well, Sean, tell me a little bit about your experience here at Westminster. How are you doing? Um... Academically, I'm doing okay. Grades are slipping a little bit for a semester, but I'm definitely picking that back up. Wrestling-wise, I've been, I've had my ups and downs. I mean, first tournament I went out there, wrestled D1, D2, NAIA. I took first, and the kid in the finals was a kid that I always saw myself as being like lesser than. His name was Anthony Miles. He goes to Lindenwood, and I beat him 14 to one. Oh, like, that's good. Yeah, I just <laughs> controlled him the whole match. and So it really, like, boosted my energy Yeah, coming into the season. Yeah. And then second tournament was Drury. I go there. I get knocked down a few pegs. I lose to a, a Fargo champ that wrestles for Drury. And then that just made me want to go harder because I haven't been controlled like that in, since freshman year when I wrestled Malik Johnson. In high school. Yeah, in high school. In high school, yeah. And so... I went back in, we trained nonstop, just grinding it every day, and then we go into winter break. We didn't have a, we had the home duel first thing in January, right? Yeah, it was after, January. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we go to, right after New Year's, we go to dual nationals, and I get the opportunity to wrestle the number seven guy in the country. I pin him in the second. All right. After about a five minute break. In between yeah. the first and second, because the clocks were down, mm -hmm. I go and I just look at Mike and I was like, "Watch this!" <laughs> and then, like thirty seconds into the second period, I splayed him, mm -hmm. and so that was great. Then we leave there, we come into the home duel, we mess it up, we control the other team as a whole, and then that was McMurray. Yeah, yeah. And then we college of the Ozarks. I think we all got knocked down a few pegs. We had to be humbled. Because a lot of us were getting big heads, and then we go into Moval right after Ozark. Right, there, yeah. And then Ozark or Moval was a good duel for all of us. We all went out there, wrestled D one, D two, a little few NAI, but mainly D one and D two. And I mean that one was a great one for me. I just was feeling it. I had the flow to me, and I pinned and tacked everybody, including Mizzou and, and everybody else. They got an outstanding good. wrestler. Of the oh, tournament right. as a freshman. Yeah. As a so freshman. he doesn't like wow. to tell you that, but that's... Yes. Yeah. Yeah, figured you'd come in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now you're going to the Nationals. Yep. And uh, tell me, uh, when is it going to happen and what's going to happen? 
Uh, we leave Tuesday night, uh, hopefully get up there Wednesday around noon, get a practice in Wednesday and Thursday, wrestle Friday, and start getting things done. Bring home a championship. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. That's good, yeah. Well, how's this guy doing as a coach? Is he all right? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> He's all like, right? Him and Mike are like my second dads, because I've known them since fifth, sixth grade, and mm -hmm. I've always looked up to them wrestling-wise, because I know they wrestled D1, D2, NAI. Mm -hmm. They've been all around the spectrum. I know Mike's coach, Jaden Cox, Jaden Ironman, Brock Muller, Jared Jake, who's new up-and-comers from Mizzou. And as soon as I heard they got the program here, when I was end of junior year, I called Mike immediately, and I was like, hey, is this real? Are you guys really got a program? Didn't sign out any other college applications. I just signed up here. That was a so nice was, choice, wise <laughs> choice. Yeah. If I knew with them, it'd be family. It wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't have to work out twice a day to cut weight. I'd go uh -huh. where it needed to be. Mm -hmm. And that's what got me here. Well, here you are, going to the Nationals. Uh, hopefully bring home a championship. You're just a freshman. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of the road, um, here at Westminster, maybe uh, more accolades, but most important, a degree mm -hmm. and, a, and a great future. So congratulations and Thank good you. luck to you. And congratulations Thank you. to you, Coach. Thank you. Well done. Let's go upstairs and wrestle a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, that's uh, today's episode of Catch Fletch. Uh, you never know where you're going to see us next, but uh, have a great day. And hopefully it's going to warm up here pretty soon.